everyone, it is your girl Ty Cooper here, beauty editor for Rolling Out. And I am here with this beautiful young lady, Melinda Williams. Aww, Thank you so much for joining us, Melinda. It is my absolute pleasure. Thank yes, you. Yes, so we have the pleasure of having Melinda here at our Ride Conference. This is our third annual Ride Conference, and she's here. She was also a panelist on our beauty track, and she was a speaker, and she was absolutely amazing <laughs> so i have you say that to all the speakers uh -uh, i don't y'all know that <laughs> but um she she actually said ty we can do an intimate interview and i thought oh my gosh um because she's just so flexible and very very genuine and I love her for that. So we have the opportunity of sitting down with her now and having an intimate interview. And she's willing to drop a lot of these gems about her successes and all of her endeavors. So, Melinda, yes. can you also give them a little tidbit about what you got going on? Wow. So um, most people know me as, as, as an actress. Um, I've been acting since I was, I don't know, maybe like 10 years old. I started when I was a child. Um, but along the way, over the years, I've transitioned. And I kind of transition back and forth because I don't want to act like I transition and I, I go from one thing into the next and never delve back into that other thing. I am an actress. Um, out of that, I, I became a producer, producing my own um, television movies. Uh, I am. I have also produced my own digital series. I have directed them. I have written. Uh, what else do I do? I, I also. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I'm also in the tech space. Years ago, I basically taught myself um, how to read and and program. Um, so I'm also a web developer. All my websites, all oh my websites gosh. that I have, I built them. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I build them and. Um, Yes, I also went to cosmetology school, so I have a license, like like a cosmetology license. Wow. I worked in nail salon for years. Um, my aunt owned a salon. I just, I just, I like spreading myself around, doing and trying every and anything that I feel might bring me joy and or might bring someone else joy. Yes. Um, so it sounds like you. You just have a talent for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So how do you juggle that? How do you focus on, okay, this and the next and, you know? Well, I make a lot of lists. Okay. I make lists. I'm a list maker because that's, you know, how you, how you knock tasks down. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I would be overwhelmed because I do have so many things going on. Um, I have three businesses currently. Aside from my, my acting um, career, I have three businesses. Two I started with my sister, my, um, my two sisters, which is it's called uh, One Nest Yoga Studio in New Jersey. I launched a website recently with my husband. This is leaving.com. It's a travel and wellness website. Um, and then I also re re recently just launched the first of two um, e-commerce platforms. Mine is shopshesgottahabit.com, mm -hmm. uh, and my husband's is casually obsessed. It's coming soon, um, but we launched that one recently, and so far it's been really a huge success. And I'll tell you what, I understand that part of the reason why it's a, it's a huge success is because I already have a huge platform, mm -hmm. but I recognize that my platform is not just about me. Being given this platform and this ability to reach and touch so many people yes. makes me responsible for reaching them and touching them in meaningful ways. Yes. So part of what I'm doing with all of these business is finding ways to create um, better habits for people, show them what wellness looks, feels, sounds, sounds like. Um, uh, with shop, she's got a habit. Just giving people access to merchandise that they may not have access to. I, I I travel the world a lot, and I find things that I go, oh my gosh, I wish everyone could, you know, experience this. Whether it's a, a certain kind of food, or it's a certain piece of clothing or jewelry that I could bring back and then give access to someone who identifies with me. Um, that's part of what I want to do with with my platforms. With my She's Got a Habit platform, it's about creating a network. 
So it's about allowing other women who look like me or, you know, who follow me or um, can identify with me um, or like my style even to connect with me and my my audience mm -hmm. because I am a connector of, of, of people, you know, just by you looking at me and then seeing who I'm connected to. Mm -hmm. That's that's what our network is about. Yes. Uh, so if I can help to connect people to um, each other, yes. particularly women who look like us, yes. uh, that that's what it's about for me. Yes, I could really tell that your premise and just overall way and your lifestyle is really not just about always waiting to get a blessing, but you are really that blessing for a lot of people. Wow. That's what I see. It's, wow. So, I mean, I really love that because even your, like, she's got a habit, like, even your lifestyle and travel, you're bringing this back to people that may not ever get an opportunity to experience what you're experiencing. So it's very selfless. That's right. I, I, I really, really admire that about you. And I'm going to be honest with the audience. So we were sitting here before this interview, and no joke, she did the same thing. Like, she just blessed me in so many ways that she doesn't even know. So she's very authentic. It is She is not lying about what she's saying here. I think she's very genuine. It's very hard to find people like yourself that is willing to give and not always receive. So I appreciate that, sis. I love that about you. Well, I, I recognize I, I recognize that there, there, there is receiving in the giving. Yes. There's no question in that for me. What I give to you, I give back to myself. Mm -hmm. Maybe not in, in, in the ex but trust and believe. I know that every blessing I put out there for someone else is a blessing that is on its way back to me. Oh, I There's no question. That. Oh, yes, I love that. We don't have an audience, but it's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. I love that. I love that. Well, there's so many people out there, even in the industry, the beauty industry, we have a lot of tracks that we talked about mm -hmm. here at the Rock Conference today. And, Which you I know, love, by the way. You I'm just, I've been getting so many jewels at this conference. Oh, yes. yes. So everyone can learn at this conference. And we have so many influencers and speakers and powerful women here to share their stories and their successes. And they're very genuine about it. A lot of the times we'll find ourselves at conferences is and there's nothing to take away from it Oof. nothing to take away from it so Linda is right she is giving back more than she's receiving and it's reciprocating it's, it's like a boomerang effect so I want to do a little bit I want to get more into she's gotta have it okay that is so, oh my gosh so first of all I was stalking your Instagram page yeah. she's gotta have it and I love the aesthetics of the page first Thank of all you. I love pink um, but just tell me uh, just tell us a little bit about she's gotta have it and how people can really find it and get into it and maybe purchase some of your items but what inside of you led to in addition to giving back but what kind of led you to opening that uh, right platform. that that platform so so it was something that came to me quite frankly in the middle of the night yeah middle of the night i was i woke up and i was well i asked for um direction right mm -hmm. i asked god for vision like what's your vision for me mm -hmm. and then i know i have all these sort of gifts right like why do i know this information why am i why do i know how to code websites like what 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 is what am i supposed to do with that <laughs> crazy right uh and so one day in the middle of the night, it came to me, well, you're going to use your platform, you know, not in these words exactly, but you're going to use your platform to bless other women and empower them to create their own opportunities. Now, I didn't get all the information because the, the truth is God knows I can't handle the whole picture. Uh, just give me, he rations it to me in snippets. <laughs> like this. So, 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 so I first got, she's got a habit and I was like, well, all right, well, let me just, so I go and, and check all the, you know, you check all the social media handles and they're all available. So I was like, okay, well then you must, you're right. It's available. I know you would think that one would be. Yeah. It's so cute. I love it. And so, and so then I started getting little, little bits and pieces more, uh, you know, in, in my prayers and in my meditation, like I just get answers. Can't explain to you how, but I do. And so, um, meaning they come, 
and they come like, you know, when you're on the train or they come when you're riding in the car, they just show up. Mm. And so it really was about practicing good habits. Mm -hmm. So it really was the essence. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's goods, there are products available for, for, for sale. There's merchandise on shop. She's got a habit.com, but there's also good information, mm -hmm. how to eat better, how to live right. Um, Every week we send out an email about wellness, mm -hmm. practicing good habits, getting rid of old bad habits. And we say 52 years, 52 um, weeks, well, there's 52 weeks in a year. Mm -hmm. There's 52 weeks to your absolute better life. Like a lot of people are out here thinking they're living their best life, mm -hmm. but they're really only living for the gram. If you are living your best life, you are really living your best life from the inside out. Yes. It automatically shows up on the outside when it, it, the seeds are planted on the inside. Mm. So that's what we're trying to do. We're cultivating and planting and watering good seed. Um, and so that's what, what she's got a habit. It's a habit for wellness. It's a habit for taking care of my sister. It's a habit for working together. It's a habit for telling you you look beautiful. It's a habit for not feeling like there isn't enough. There's, it's a habit for making sure that if you're taken care of, I'm definitely taken care of. So it's, it's about okay. practicing good habits. That's, that's really what it's about. And you can get some cute merch and, and right. you know, Cause, Cause, looking good is feeling good. Let's yes, be clear. That's right. Like we're not Jealousy. just gonna be out here right. raggedy. Right. <laughs> we still gotta look good. Right. <laughs> Control inside and outside. Right. There you go. It's gotta all come together. But it does have to start with the inside. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sharing all your knowledge and wisdom, and we really, really appreciate it. Do you have anything else you would like to leave us? before we close out our interview? I, I would. I would like to just, you know, reinforce and remind everyone. I was uh, at a, a business expo earlier with, with uh, some, some beautiful, beautiful women and uh, entrepreneurs, and I just was encouraging them that when you meet up with someone, whether it's a small business owner, anybody, you know, don't look at them and, and, and you know, try to figure out what it is they can do for you. Sometimes you have to lead with, what can I do for you? You know, what, not what can you do for me? How can I help you? And that automatically makes them want to lean back in and say, well, how can we help each other? Munson was speaking to it earlier um, in the conference. He's talking about like how we have to really start depending on us. It's time for us to look to each other for, as resources. As opposed to looking outside of ourselves, our community, look within the community. Because we are here, we are talented, we are able, and we are ready. But um, we really do have to be of service. Oh, I love it. Thank you again so very much. And before we go, just tell them how to follow you. She already has like a gazillion followers, but tell them how to follow you. you want to keep this movement going. I want to keep the movement. It's definitely, it's a movement. Yes. So She's Got a Habit is the social media on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, I believe. And then Malin's World, uh, I'm on IG and across social media. So you can follow me there. Uh, I will definitely be offering updates. We are building right now. Um, so far, it's 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 been a it's been a fast uh, run out the gate, uh, and I and I hope it only gets bigger and grows and blesses. Well, we will definitely support your movement. So we're rolling out, and again, we appreciate your attendance, your willingness, and patience. She has patience of Job, everyone. Okay. <laughs> She does, she does. Thank you again. I appreciate it so much. All right, we are signing out. Thank you all so much. And thank you for tuning in. We want to see you at Ride next year.